So today I'm really excited because I was asked to work with this brand called Hair with Envy Ireland. Basically, it's a hair extensions brand and I know you're like, what? I like haven't used hair extensions since I first came out. So it's like really weird for me like to be going back to extensions, but because I'm actually going to LA in like two months or something, I just wanted to have like real full hair. Like I'm just so sick of my scraggly little ends. Like Chloe did color it and cut it last night. But just from having blonde hair, it's just a bit damaged and a bit weak and a bit lifeless. And so, yeah, I'm just really excited. I was kind of like, yeah. And she said like, you know, all I had to do was promote the page and stuff. So I'm very happy. Um, so these extensions are given to me just to make that very clear for everyone. Um, and I'm very happy, like I, well, we'll see. Like I'm very skeptical with things that like, you know, that I try and stuff, but I'm excited to try it. She's actually coming all the way down from Kildare, which is near Dublin, I'm in Cork. So I'm really happy about that because obviously I'm not driving yet, even though I have been practicing. Even got my L plates, it's down for loser. So yeah, she's on her way now. I'm gonna make myself a bagel because I'm starving and it is now like nearly 11 o'clock. So yeah, I'll definitely update you. And be sure to check out my Instagram. It's just Jamie O'Hurley, all one word. Um, because I post there most often. Um, or else like I have a Facebook page or like like a Facebook like page as well, at Jamie O'Hurley. Um, if you want to see like updates or go check out the page as well, I'll leave the handle in the description below. And yeah, I'm excited. Also, before I forget again, um, earlier in the month, well, like we're still in January. We're still in January. Can like what? Like actually no, maybe not when this video is out. We're not. But like filming this, we're still at the end of January. It's crazy. Anyway, everything going on with Chloe, I just forgot to mention that we actually reached 4,000 subscribers. And even though that number might be little to some people, I just think it's incredible. Like, and I just want to take this time to thank everybody who's been on this journey with me and who has supported me and who leaves comments and likes and shares my videos and stuff. Like, I really appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I just love doing videos and stuff and I just love like sharing my life with people and I, I'm so like it's so nice that people are actually interested and like to keep up and stuff so I'm really happy. So thanks again and here's to another 4,000. So it's been about an hour since I last talked to you and my hair is done. It was so quick, painless, like I can't even believe it and this is what the hair looks like. So as you can see, it's matched up pretty well. Um, yeah, I, the hair is so soft and it just feels like my own hair and it doesn't seem to be like shedding much or anything. So that's definitely good. And yeah, Jackie was so nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, you should definitely check her out, especially like if you're living in Ireland and you know, maybe you're transitioning or you just struggle with your hair. Jackie does offer a one-to-one. -one. So like her salon, she said, is quite small, but that's because she does it on a one-to-one -one basis. And I just really love that because like not everyone's, you know, able to just go in and get their hair done in a salon. You know, people who are transitioning who maybe, you know, like, like not passing well or whatever, or they just have fears of going into hairdressers. This is a good way for people to go in on a one-to-one -one basis, meet Jackie, she's so lovely. Like we talked about my transition and everything, like I felt so comfortable with her. She was so lovely and I really like the hair. Like obviously this is only like 30 minutes after I've got it done and I will keep you updated, but it's so nice to have long hair again. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So today I have my first ever proper driving lesson. Ah. I'm so nervous. Like, oh, I've been waiting for this for such a long time. And I have been out in the car with my mom a few times. She's been like helping me kind of like learn how to like start the car and reverse and pull off and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so I have a good knowledge, so I'm not too nervous. There's my bathroom. I guess the thing that I'm more anxious about is that he's like, 
he's gonna be like, oh, I thought I was collecting a boy called Jamie. Because obviously we've talked on the phone. So that's what I'm kind of most anxious about. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm transgender. <laughs> but he was recommended from someone in the community. So, I mean, let's just hope that he's like LGBT friendly or whatever. I'll probably just end up saying it to him anyway because that's what I do in awkward situations. I'm just like, yeah, I just have to tell you I'm trans. <laughs> So I'll definitely check back in in a little while just to let you know how I got on. So I'm just back from my first ever lesson. My eyeliner ran, but that's not important. I did really well, I think. I mean, I cut out once, um, but I got to drive on the main road for the first time. And yeah, I mean, I think it went really well. I got up to fourth gear. Um, for anybody who doesn't use gears, like, I don't know, that's kind of fast. There is usually like, like it goes up to six. Um, we did no reversing or anything, but I've done some of that with my mom already. And yeah, I'm really happy. Like I'm excited for next week. Um, I was a bit nervous. Like I feel like I'm gonna be a nervous driver. Um, Cause I was just felt like I was gonna hit all the cars on my side. Like I was like, oh my God. But then I was like moving towards, you know, the footpath. And he kept like moving me back. He was like, no, go back there now. I was like, oh yeah. Um, but it was really, it was really grand, like, he was so nice, he's so lovely, so, yeah, I'm really excited for next week. Now I'm just making my, uh, Caesar salad, I have my dressing here, I add red peppers, because I love peppers, and then if you've got your cheese, your chicken, um, lettuce, I've got the bacon bits in there, and then there's some croutons. I just drove to the bank, um, well actually I drove to Dunn's first, which was fine, except for like going into Dunn's, I was like laughing because I was like anxious, and then this man knew that I was like learning how to drive, he was like laughing too. Then I just drove my mom to the bank, um, but where I am, like I had to like park up, and it's really awkward, like I came from here, and I had to cross over here, and like come down to the stop sign, and then reverse back up. And like I haven't had too much practice with reversing and with stopping and starting, but it's just getting used to it, I guess. Um, it's so anxious, like I'm so anxious, I'm like oh my god. So I'm now back home, um, I got home a little while ago. I changed into my Britney t-shirt and my Pokemon onesie, just to get all cosy for watching Love Island. Um, I'm not the kind of person who's like, oh Love Island, like I didn't watch any of it before, I'd never watched it before, I've never seen it before. And I started watching it this year just out of boredom and I'm literally hooked on it. Like, I love it. I love, like, dissecting people and their behaviour. So, yeah. And it's really just shit TV and I just love watching it. So after the panic at the bank, um, my mom took over and we, sh we drove and we just did a couple of errands in town and stuff. And then we ended up going to, like, Black Rock. It's an area in Cork. And uh, she had to go to the credit union. So I drove, like, to the credit union from, like, the main road. So that was a good like seven or eight minutes like and it was like I had to stop at traffic lights and stuff. I was like, oh my god. But um no, it was good. Like I, I'm getting the hang of it. Like I did cut out, which was really embarrassing because there was a guy behind me and he was kinda like, What the fuck is she doing? Um but it's just it's difficult, like and I start to panic, you know, so it's kinda scary. So after all the driving we then went to Wilton Shopping Centre, um, because we just needed to get a few bits. And I went into Boots because I needed to pick up foundation. So usually I would get the Floor Mar full coverage foundation. And like I love that. I just felt like I wanted a change because there was one time in my life where I wore a really good foundation. And my, my skin just looked so amazing. So I wanted to try something new. So I had a look at the like, you know, the drugstore uh, brands. And obviously like L'Oreal was there. So I get the infallible, um... 24 hour fresh wear foundation like I've never seen this one before I know that they, that they do the true match as well um so this one is just like it's in the color 200 um golden sand and I don't know I hope it I hope it's nice like I swatched it on my hand all right and it looked quite nice so I suppose that's the reason I got that over the true match and then I picked up the Infatable more than concealer because I tried that on my hand as well and it looked really nice and it just really like just kind of like made my hand look really nice. I was like, oh hello. So hopefully it does the same for my face. Then when I went to the counter to pay, 
the woman was like, oh, you know, you can get another, if you buy two of these, you can get another L'Oreal product free. And I was like, oh, damn, okay. I, was, I went back and I had a look and <clears throat> I just kind of panicked because like I felt like she was waiting for me. So I was like, oh, I was picking up these like um, lipsticks that they had, like, and I just swatched them. Now I've washed my hand like three times, like, and this stuff hasn't come off. So I'm like, damn, I should have got it. But I actually just ended up getting a second one of these because sometimes I just like to use concealer by itself and nothing else um, when I'm doing like more natural looks. But now that this stuff like does not move off my hand, I'm like, oh my God, that's going to be amazing for like nights out and stuff. So I'm definitely going to go back and pick it up. It was like, I think it was new and it had like a double ended thing. So there was like a lipstick and like a lip tint or a lip gloss or something. I don't even know, but like, looks really good like and now I'm kind of gutted that I didn't pick it up. So before I go to LA in March I really want to like properly whiten my teeth but I don't want to bleach them because I know my teeth are way too sensitive for that shit. Like I just feel like this doing this like um isn't going to damage them as much but I've started using like a charcoal powder um at night and then I use I put, pick this up because I've used an activated charcoal toothpaste, but I'm actually running out of it. So I picked this one up, came with a toothbrush, and like, it just says like, um, deep stain remover, like it looks really, really good. So I picked this up as well, and I'm also using like this like powder, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, it's supposed to like lift stains, like if you're, if you drink coffee, or if you were a smoker, or if you are a smoker, like it's supposed to lift all those kind of brown stains. So, yeah, it's, I don't know, I'm like, I it's so hard to like do it like, cause like literally it takes about 10 minutes in total to brush your teeth rather than the three mi standard minutes. So I just feel like, oh my God, the effort doing that every night before you go to bed and you're exhausted after Love Island, like, oh my God, I can't. What was your first impression of me? Do you know what, like, you know when you feel like you, like, you're like, oh, oh she's like, do you know like a blonde girl, do you know what I mean? Like you think, oh. <laughs> well observed. Yeah, no, 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 but do you know what I mean? like. Extensions are still going good. I did catch myself looking in the reflection all right in this shopping center and seeing in the light the different colors between my hair and the extension hair. And I was a bit like, oh crap. Like, I mean, I don't think there's, like, I don't even think there's much you can do about that. But I just feel like the extension hair is quite bright. My hair isn't as bright as that. Like, I don't mind it too much at all, but I'm just like, oh, if people notice, like, or if people are judgy, like, I know I shouldn't really care what people think, but I do. <laughs> I need to see this. 